Hello, it's Ruby and welcome to my 15 hour study day. This is the longest study with me that I have ever filmed and I want to first of all just quickly point out that I do not do 15 hours of studying every day. I don't think I would have any energy left at all if I were to do this. Usually if I'm not doing anything else that day I will do 10 to 12 hours of work and this isn't always homework, sometimes I like to do extension projects and things. So I started off my study session today by doing a philosophy essay and this was one that I had actually planned the night before. Then I moved on to doing an RS Quizlet and I was using my Pumpkin Productivity Study Planner for this study session, which is one that you can find on my website. I designed it myself and I find it's perfect for my study sessions. So here I was reading through my philosophy textbook and also eating some breakfast, which was Rice Krispies in a mug. And then I wrote another essay. Uh, this was only a partial essay though, and it was philosophy. Um, I decided not to do the whole essay, I missed out the last two paragraphs because they were paragraphs that I was quite confident on and I knew that the first three were ones that I was going to struggle with the most, so I thought it was the most productive use of my time. And then I got to tick it off my to-do list. So here I was using my new Kath Kidston Peter Pan notebook which I got for Christmas and I love it so much and I just went through and wrote out the points and facts for ethics which I had been struggling to remember. So when I do essay plans or essays or mind maps, in blue I will write the things that I had to refer to my notes to remember and so I just decided to write them all up in one place and this clip is actually cut short so I ended up filling the whole page but you only see me finishing half of the page. For some reason the other clip got corrupted. Uh, then I moved on to doing some um, philosophy essay plans and these were all of my AS topics which aren't actually coming up in my mock but I wanted to go through them and see how much I could remember. So then I went and got myself some water because it's really important to stay hydrated when you are studying, otherwise you will find yourself getting rather unproductive. Then I moved on to writing another philosophy essay. This morning's revision really did focus on religious studies and this was actually only the introduction to an essay. And next I went on to some English and this was Journey's End. So I wrote a practice paragraph on Raleigh's eagerness in the play and for some reason English essays just take me so long because I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to deciding on which point to use which is why it took me around 15 minutes or longer to write a single paragraph. But hopefully it still was a good use of my time because I'll be able to reuse this paragraph. And then I got out my feather quill and ink, and this red ink is one that I got for Christmas, but unfortunately it got all over my hands, and you'll probably be able to see later in the video just how red my hands are for the rest of the video. Um, and I was just writing up some possible critical quotations which I could use as an essay title and then discuss them. So I went through and did ones for Osborne first, and then I did some for Raleigh and some for Stanhope. Next I just wrote out a list of all of the Winter's Tale quotations I wanted to learn ready for my exam. And then I went and made myself a mug of peach matcha tea which was sent to me by the Match Reserve and which I absolutely love, I will leave a link to it down below. Then I got some lunch and I had some pea soup and some toast and I just decided to eat this at my desk today. At the same time I was writing up some 
essay plans for A Long Long Way and The Poems, which is one of the topics and papers that I have for A-level. And then I did the same thing for Journey's End with themes, and I just wrote some very brief essay plans for each of the possible themes. Then I decided to have a short break just because I was feeling quite drained after that and this is something that I needed to do anyway. I just refined our family shopping list which we use every week and I'm going to laminate this and put it up so that we can highlight the things which we no longer have in the fridge and it's a really great system, I recommend doing it. And then as an extended break because I was feeling like organising something, I decided to go through my wardrobe I was just transferring my toiletries into these two Harry Potter potions crates which I received for Christmas. I love organising things. Then I decided to light another candle and this one is from Bath and Body Works. It's in Fresh Balsam and it's one of my favourite candles ever. Then I did some more Barry and Poems work and I just wrote out one introduction. Uh, this was a, I like to write out possible introductions for each of the themes. And this one was on views of and from home. Next I decided to write an English essay and this was again on Barry and the poems. Since it was getting dark I decided to put on my Teotronics lamp and then I finished this mind map on links to different Shakespeare plays to The Winter's Tale, which I started yesterday. And this is just so that I can make comparison links in my Shakespeare essays. And then I made an updated to-do list because I'd only planned for half of today's study session. And I use a calculator just to calculate how long each task is going to take me. So then I needed to go over an essay which my teacher had marked and I just went through and made all of the corrections. Then after that I wrote some more introductions. And once again here is a clip of my fairy lights. I just love these copper lights. Then I went through a key Barry points that I could discuss and I just made some headings and then I went through my notes and I added to these so that I had a few key moments which I could talk about in essays and I thought this was a really good use of my time. Then I decided to make some chapter by chapter summaries for a long long way and I started doing this but then halfway through I realised that there was a document online which had basically exactly the same information that I wanted so instead of making my own I decided to just use this. Usually my study sessions are broken out evenly into chemistry, English and RS but today it focused primarily on English and RS so here I decided to do some chemistry revision and I just went through the four mechanisms, organic mechanisms which I struggle with the most and I just practiced these. I got all of them right apart from the last one so I just practiced that again. And then I decided to make my to-do list for tomorrow, which I always like to do on the night before because it means that I feel more productive the next day. And just to finish my study session, I went through my bond angles for chemistry because this is something I think is useful just to go over frequently. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it's able to give you some motivation for studying yourself. Thank you again and have a productive week.